Hi friends, how are you all? Welcome back to Soulful Knowledge. In my channel, I am making videos regarding spiritual awakening and Kundalini awakening. If you are interested, you can check my channel. Plus, I am making in two languages, in Tamil as well as in English. So, if you wanted to check only in English version, you can check my playlist. Today, I am going to tell a very, very important topic about positive and negative energies, how it is influencing in our life and in spiritual awakening. And also I'm going to discuss about black magic and possession. Many weird things are happening in our life during spiritual awakening and also before spiritual awakening. So much of suffering is happening in that life because of these weird things like black magic and possessions. Possessions are like ghostly things. So today I'm going to discuss about that. And this is very important because many of us are in confusion whether spiritual awakening is really coming to save us or upgrade us or it is actually destroying us. I am going to give a clarification regarding this. Please do watch till the end so that you will get a complete picture what I am trying to tell. So before entering into this topic, another thing I like to discuss is I have started this English version as a request so that it will reach many of them as possible. So all my aim is to share my information and knowledge. Knowledge is always free. So my experience I'm sharing is I would like to reach many of the people so it will benefit in their life and help them to come out from this uh, dangerous situation and spiritually awaken and move towards their purpose in their life. So that's why I've started to make an English version also. But I can see that as it's happening in Tamil version, there's not much connection happening in English version, English videos. So I like to connect with you people, especially with English audience. So I need to have a certain clarification so that I can change myself to get a betterment of this videos so that it will reach many people. So I would like to know a few information. So as I noticed that, there are many count that is the viewing count is more in Tamil version than in English version. And I also feel that people who are watching Tamil version who can understand Tamil language are also watching my English version. So I don't have a proper count that how many of them are completely dependent on my English version. That is how many of them are watching consistently for my English version. So for that, please do comment in my channel. So how many of them are really wanted my English version? And also I would like to know that from which part of the state are you watching in? And from which part of the country are you watching my uh, videos? Please do uh, this small help for me so that it will be useful for me to analyze few things and ha do some changes in my channel for the growth and betterment for to share my knowledge to reach people as many as possible i am clear in my views i definitely do not want a mass crowd or quantity of people i just wanted quality of people because what i'm talking definitely it will not actually get registers for many people it will not get related for many people it will only be understood for only few members that few members i would like to connect with you people so please do this small help to please do comment that how many of them are really wanted my English version and from which part of the state and which part of the country you are watching my videos. So thank you for this small help. Now let's get into the topic. So today I'm going to tell about this very important thing that is positive and negative energies. So in my previous video that in my last video I've spoke about Uwe. Uwe is very important in spiritual path that is it tells to follow the flow of life to live a life effortlessly for that the first thing we should know is to check a mindset whether it is positive or negative because that track only we're going to flow through our life so that the first thing we need to check whether it's positive if it is positive we can continue but if it is negative we need to change the track so this I told about positive and negative energies, but what I'm going to tell today is more than that. Not only in our thoughts, energies are working around us. Energies are everywhere. The whole universe is made of energies only, positive, negative and neutral energies. This already I've explained. 
so based on this only i am going to give a clarification many of them are suffering in this black magic and possession their whole life is being in danger they are stuck in this dangerous situation they are not able to come out first i am going to explain this logically only if we understand logically we can understand what is happening and what is the problem exactly so that we can get the exact solution so today i'm going to explain about this logically and scientifically so first thing we i would like to tell is we have like two parts of our brain two hemispheres are there in our brain so our mind is working in two sectors one is the left brain and another one is the right brain our left brain is mainly for our logical thinking it will analyze the past present and future activities it will compare the things and it will allow us to take the decision so mainly decision making and logical thing is happening in our left brain it is more logical it is more masculine in nature the right side brain is more feminine it is subconscious brain it is working in frequencies frequency and vibration it is only working in energies positive or negative energies a subconscious brain does not have any logic it does not able to think anything it will work in auto mode only we know that 80% of our body is working in auto mode everything what we heart beat our breath our cells whatever our cells are doing so everything 80% is happening in subconscious brain only it is working in auto mode when we sleep our conscious brain is cut our auto mode and subconscious brain is awake and many things is happening in our sleep our dreams so everything is happening in a subconscious way we have not more deciphered many things in this sector so our science is very limited to understand the subconscious side but how much ever i relate to this how much ever i understand this i'm trying to bring it uh, little logically so that we can able to understand one thing is that in subconscious mind we are receiving the information we are receiving the energies the emotion is triggered in subconscious mind based on the energies only this energy we are receiving it from outside this we can be sure because as we progress in spirituality we can understand that few things are we are getting readings from outside our mind is reading few things when we connect to a particular frequency we are getting the information according to that frequency we are downloading information so this we can understand that from outside few energies we are reading information only that information is taken to a conscious mind and we are comparing and analyzing things and decision is made so 80% subconscious mind out in it's working in auto mode and our conscious mind is working in 20% to react so whatever decision we make and whatever reaction we are making only is decided by our conscious brain so two things is happening one is mind and emotions are we are receiving it it is not in our control from outside we are receiving it and the karma what we are doing the action is only is karma the what we are doing is only in our control so karma is in our control the energies are not in our control we are just receiving the energies in subconscious mind so this we should understand now what is happening when conscious mind and subconscious mind are combined together that's how reality is formed something is entering in a subconscious mind and it is being analyzed with a conscious mind and the reality we are actually making the reality this is only happening in our human system and this subconscious mind we can receive the information both in negative ways and in positive ways this universe is actually compromised with two things the negative and positive the universe is full of positive and negative energies it is working accordingly for the construction and destruction and maintenance the three things have been simultaneously handled by the universe so 
our subconscious mind can either be in construction mode that is in positive mode or it can be in negative mode that is destruction mode this we should understand or blindly we cannot go in the flow of our subconscious mind this only i told in my previous video we should check whether it is in positive or in negative in this world at this time 90% of the world are in negative mode only because it's in the end of Kali Yuga. So 90% of the world is negative mode only. It is very difficult to get the positivity from outside. That's why everyone are getting that depression and that black magic is happening because the negativity is coming for a destruction purpose. It is only trying to destroy us. The positivity is trying to save us. So if we are in negative track, universe will send the information or send the thoughts that energies will receive the energies for destruction only. Only if we adapt for positive energies, we will actually go for construction mode. So this you would have understood. Now what is positive and negative energies? So if you see negative energy is like a dark energy, like night energy. It is always existing. Positive energy is like a sun. It is a new thing which is formed because of some chemical reaction. It is formed and only that positive energy gives the brightness. Only when the positive energy comes in, the night disappears. So this dark energy and night energy and negative energy is always present. The positive energy is only the new thing it should come from outside. So destruction is always present. So the construction is a new thing which it needs so much of energies and it should come inside. So the negativity is just the absence of positivity. When there is no sunlight, there will be darkness. Darkness always there. So when the sun comes, that's how the brightness comes. The same thing happens. Why are we all in the negative phase? Because we are, there is absence of positivity. We are in search of positive energies. We are not getting that much in our world right now. Now we have to understand that what is spiritual awakening? Is it really coming for us to help us or to destroy us? What is this black magic and possession? You should understand that spiritual awakening is a positive energy. It is coming to help you. It is a construction energy. It is pulling you from that destruction phase. This black magic and this possession is the negative energy. Initially, you would have stuck with this black magic and possession because of the narcissistic energies. So, narcissistic energies are the destruction energies. These are the negative energies. That's why only we are feeling that black magic and possession. So the spiritual awakening is actually is a positive energy. It's coming to pull you out, separate you from that uh, negative energies. We should understand this first. Till now you would have understood what is positive and negative energies and what is spiritual awakening and what is black magic and possession. Now how it is happening, how black magic is happening, how possession is happening. So everywhere we are experiencing negative energies but in reality, how it is happening? Many weird things are happening, right? So many of them would have experienced that black magic. Suddenly you would have changed. Some weird things would have happening. So how it is happening? That only I am going to explain you now. So as we know, some information we are entering into the subconscious mind. And conscious mind is actually analyzing it. And if it is necessary only, we are going to react. For example, suppose... If your subconscious mind is in a negative track and negative track is mostly about negative emotions like guilt feeling, fear feeling. It is most of destruction emotions. So anger, fear, guiltiness, greedy, ego, jealousy, all these are negativity. So we should understand this. All these are negativity. Positivity is more of construction emotions. So confident fearlessness, happiness, joy, love, all these are the positive emotions. We must know to separate these two emotions. So now something is entering into a subconscious mind. Let it be a negative emotion. Being in anger and you like to shout at others or shout at some person. It will be like 
something is telling your mind to get angry and shout at a person. This is the information you are going to receive inside. Now what a conscious mind will do is, it will analyze, it will think, it will analyze whether it is necessary to shout at that person, what that person has done. In past, present and future, you will try to analyze the things and whether when you shout, what the reaction will happen. You are controlled of your emotion. You will try to understand the cause and effect and that's how you will try to react. If it is really necessary to shout at that person, you will shout and if you think you can control it, you will control it. This is how the reaction is being happened using the conscious mind. Decision making is happened. So you can stop something happening and or else you can react things. This is how the conscious mind is helping us. But during this black magic or constantly if you are stuck with some negative energies. So negative energies will push you to depression. Constantly if you are stuck with someone's negative energies or in some situation, it will push you to depression, anxiety and stress. When you deal with these emotions continuously, all these are negative emotions, depression, anxiety, stress, ego, jealousy, all these are negative emotions. When you are dealing with this negative energies constantly, what will happen is your brain, your left side brain will shrink. That is your frontal lobe will start to shrink. When it shrinks, slowly only it will happen. When it slowly happens, you will tend to lose your consciousness. This is very important. You will tend to lose that decision making power, that memory, analyzing that past, present and future. Everything you will tend to reduce this. Your capacity of intelligence will be reduced. Intelligence is from positive energy. So this depression and this all these things will happen in negative energies and it will destroy your conscious mind. You will shrink your frontal lobe and you will reduce your mindset. So the awareness, complete awareness will be reduced. If it is completely switched off, if your conscious mind is completely switched off, you are going to go in an auto mode. Please understand this. So as I said earlier, subconscious mind works 80% in our body in auto mode only only 20% conscious mind is working just to react outside when this 20% conscious mind is shrunk the whole body will become in auto mode our subconscious mind will take over our body suppose our subconscious mind is not fed with the positivity the the thing we have is negativity negativity is always present when you don't have positivity from outside, when you don't get the energies from positive energies, the only thing you have is negativity. This negativity will try to destroy you. The information which is triggering your subconscious mind, either it has to be negative or positive, when it is negative, that's when you will feel the black magic is happening because the whole body will become auto mode and you will not have any awareness to think and do things conscious mind allows you to think to plan things to analyze things and decision making has to be has to be done with conscious mind all these things will be shut down and the spontaneous things will happen that is the subconscious mind works spontaneously uh, when a emotion is triggered when an energy is entering into a subconscious mind immediately your body will react as it is happening in the reflex mode so if you reflexes if you touch a hot place suddenly your hand will uh, take back right so that is not happening with the conscious mind it is happening with the subconscious mind spontaneously happening things is from subconscious mind it is not from conscious mind what happens is spontaneously you will start doing things some weird things will happen you know something is happening in your mind this thing only it will be like possession someone it will be like someone is talking in your mind this many would have who are in, who have faced this dark side of this reality who have faced this black magic or possession you know that someone is talking in your mind it will be as though someone is uh, giving instructions to you the whole body is being 
the whole body is been possessed by some other energies or some other being you will have no other choice than to react because you will not have that conscious mind to think and uh, to analyze things or stop things from happening spontaneously you will do things so that's why people around you will be think that you have become weird so this spontaneous action if it is negative it is very it is a very dangerous situation because it is going to destroy you it will destroy you in two ways physically and also in emotionally and in mind wise so two forms of ways it will try to destroy you one is physically physically is you will get the suicidal thoughts you will try to destroy yourself by cutting your hands or doing some weird things jumping from above something some suicidal thoughts you will get these things continuously it will be in your head someone will be trying to instruct you these energies will try to distract you because this universe either it will try to distract you or either it will try to help you or say, save you it is based on the positive and negative energies this we should understand this either you will try to destroy yourself in negative energy or you will try to destroy others some information some voice will tell you to destroy others also this is very very dangerous situation because when your conscious mind is continuously cut off you are being possessed by some other energy the whole control of your body is taken by the energies by the negative energies one thing is physically you will be destroyed the second thing is it will try to destroy you mentally it will break down your mental stability it will try to actually uh, destroy your personality character and your intelligence you will act weird you will act unstable so people around you will think that you have become uh, crazy so all these things will happen so many people who have not experienced who cannot uh, understand this but people who are going through this more than the death we are facing the things the mind getting crazy it is the very hellish thing we are experiencing in our lifetime the craziness happening in our mind and the uh, and the things we started to do with craziness it is actually going to be in a panic situation people around you going to panic and at one time you are also going to or uh, end up in destroying yourself these things are actually based on the chakras as already have told that these frequency the subconscious mind will receive the energy based on the frequency in which frequency we are in based on that only this craziness is going to happen this black magic and possession will happen in muladhara chakra we have the seven sets of frequency and chakra from muladhara to sahasra every chakra has two sides the negative side and the positive side either the positivity help you to construct in a construction way but the negativity will try to destroy you so in muladhara chakra is the lowest frequency and when it is in construction mode it will help you to survive in this world bring yourself up in this world but if it in in destruction mode you will be pushed in complete fear you will try to destroy yourself muladhara since it is a lowest frequency you will try to completely destroy yourself by getting the suicidal thoughts when your conscious mind is little bit awakened so when it is not fully cut down little bit awakened what will happen is continuously you will know that you are receiving this information but you will continuously will be telling other something is telling in your mind to actually destroy yourself to having suicidal thoughts but if it is not taken seriously if when you are not searching for positive energies or when you are not coming out of this if it will going to destroy you one day so that's how how dangerous these things are muladhara chakra will destroy yourself either you will destroy you or you will try to destroy others so either both things you are only going to be in a dangerous situation so next thing is swadhisthana so swadhisthana chakra is like the establishment you try to mingle with others create a personality and character in the society and the post this is the positive thing and in the negative way it is completely going to destruct your personality and character in the public so publicly you will try to act weird this will happen when the swadhisthana is in negative side 
and your conscious mind is completely cut off publicly you will act crazy so your personality and your uh, others will feel that you have become crazy something you are in unstable position so another main thing i would like to tell is in swadhisthana it also triggers our sexual abilities when it goes to the core it will actually def try to defame your personality and character many things weird things because of the sexual desires you will start to do many weird things so these things someone it will be like possession only some possession things are happening towards you and these things you will start doing all these weird sexual activities and people around you going to get panic and it is going to end in a dangerous situation this is how swadhisthana will be next is manipura in manipura it is like maintaining your health manipura is like maintenance your physical maintenance is done in manipura chakra when it is manipura chakra is positive energy is maintained it will actually go in construction mode and other things are also there like uh, in prosperity all these things manipura will help so but when the positive energy is not entering into ma- in that frequency what will happen is the existing negative energy will try to destroy you so manipura is like destroying your physical maintenance so suddenly you will act weird by eating more food you will start craving for more food so it will actually happen beyond your consciousness suddenly you will start putting on weight suddenly you will your physical appearance will change because of over intake of foods and negative things will be taken as all these things will try to destroy you so people around you will think that you are possessed only because over eating suddenly you will behave like someone else so people around you will get to know that you are possessed or something is happening weird things are happening towards you so next is anahata anahata is like the heart chakra heart chakra is the love caring emotion when you don't get those emotions those positive energies what will happen is negatively the hatred the possessiveness all these things will come into your mind you will start hating the person whom you love the most you will try to destroy them all these things negative things will happen in anatha chakra next is vishuddhi vishuddhi is another next level it is most it is based on ego so the construction mode is trust the destruction mode is ego so all these things will happen in higher level black magic so in vishuddhi you will experience the soul level black magic you will experience all these things you will become very crazy you will become so crazy that it is going to destroy your life completely so all these things are only happening in black magic and possession so one thing you should understand that everything positive and negative thing is happening for everyone but with conscious mind we are trying to control things when negativity enters so we are trying to mask things only is even though our, our subconscious mind is negative but outside we will try to mask it with our conscious mind but for some people when they are the right mostly the right brain people that is the feminine people are only affected with this uh, black magic with this black magic and with this possession because since their consciousness masculine is not that much awakened they are completely dependent on their feminine side and fr- their subconscious mind they will be in positive nature only but with the influence of some negative uh, environment or negative energies so when the subconscious mind becomes negative their conscious mind is going to shrink when it shrinks your body is going to be possessed your body is going to act in an autopilot manner so you cannot actually stop that you know something weird is happening you know you're doing it wrongly but you cannot stop that because your body will start to react spontaneously a thought will come in and spontaneously you will react some day this you will awaken some day consciousness can come back that time you will fall into guilty or you will fall into that uh, thinking those past things that you have done weirdly and you will be stuck in that phase forever 
So this is how dangerous black magic and possessions are. So now you would have understood that when our mind gets strings and a body will be taken over by a subconscious mind and when it is in negative in nature, we are getting possessed. It, it will work in autopilot. It is happening for a destruction of our physical body and our personality. Now, now I told that in our subconscious mind, energies is entering. How this energy is entering? So it is. It does not happen for everyone, right? So people uh, only for a specific people it is happening. How is happening? If you see, few people are actually they will open their portal. That is the sixth sense. The sixth sense is only responsible to feel the energies. So few people actually will tap in that sixth sense. So sixth sense is responsible to actually read the energies. So normally we don't actually read the energies because we will not actually concentrate in that things. See if uh, for example let's say a cell is there. If we concentrate in that cell right all the activities in the cell will try to know. But we are not concentrated in that cell energy. We are in some other outside uh, concentration our conscious mind is concentrated in outside so that's why we will not understand what is happening inside the cellular level the same thing is only happening so when we are actually sensitive to the sixth sense what will happen is our and we'll start reading the energies so that's how when the portal opens when the portal opens only sixth sense will open this may happen like many ways because of depression also it can portal may open and we'll start to read the energies or by nature itself feminine and heart based people are naturally more sensitive to these energies and that's how they start to read the information but it does not happen like that when the portal is open it does not actually get in all the information it does not work like that your mind has to be channelized towards that energy that is your heart and mind should be connected to some energy this connection and this energy can happen through a person it is very important to understand that only if you are connected and your mind is channelized to one person only then you receive that uh, energies channeled energies so what happens is if suppose you are connected to a person through heart chakra or you are connected through the mind level what happens is you receive the energies from that person that person may not know but you will start to receive their energies either it can be positive or it can be negative so negativity will try to destroy you it will try to actually damage your consciousness negative negative emotions are like stress depression and anxiety if all these emotions will come in and actually destroy your conscious mind when your conscious mind is shrunk when it is cut down that, that's how black magic will happen spontaneously everything you will start reacting things in a negative way to destroy your personality and destroy your character and finally it will going to destroy yourself so it can, it may lead to death also one thing is for sure is when your portal is open when you when you are sensitive to the energies you start to read the information it will be like exactly someone is in your mind telling information telepathically communicating to your mind in some other voice this this many of them would have experienced it that's how black magic happens this can happen through the person and also it can happen with a place so we need to have a highly concentration and that should be and power for this energy too for so that our subconscious mind can receive that so that much of power needed for that energy so highly concentration of energy come from a person or else it can come from a place or any things. So anything also you can actually have highly concentration of uh, this negative energies or positive energies. And like that you can observe, you can get triggered from those energies. This, this is how frequency gets been carried to your subconscious mind. And this information is being broadcasted to your mind. 
it's like tuning into that frequency only like radio only if you true tune into a particular frequency that should be someone broadcasting information in that frequency and that's how you will receive the information i if it is a, a negative information and it is going to destroy your whole whole self so this is how the negative energy is only the black magic and possession the spiritual awakening is something has come to save you from this negative energy spiritual awakening is positive energy when it is positive even when your mind is struck the universe will try to save you it will never try to damage your personality or character or it will never give you any suicidal thoughts this positive energy when you are in highly positive in nature and you, that time also you will know that something you are reading you are getting information from outside but it will be a constructive information to help others and also to help yourself in a constructive mode and also when it is in positivity your conscious mind will develop a high level intelligence negativity will destroy your intelligence but positivity will give you high level intelligence you know that your conscious mind will start to work in another level all these are higher level intelligence will be received in your conscious mind so there is a difference between the black magic possession and spiritual awakening negativity is only black magic don't please don't get confused with these two things negativity is black magic positivity is only spiritual awakening spiritual awakening is come through a person or some energies is trying to save you the negativity is like you are when you feel depressed or anxiety through some energy maybe it may be a person or maybe it is a place or something is triggering your uh, emotions with darkness and with depression it is the negative energy you should come out of that so what happens is when we have conscious mind when negativity comes we'll try to search for positive it positivity we'll try to mingle with some positive people or we'll try to go to some positive places like temple and churches these are the places where highly concentrated positivity are harvested in that place we'll try to go to that place and we'll get the positivity and we'll try to get rid of this negativity but if we are not actually getting in search of positivity or, or not trying to do anything to come out from this negativity completely your mind is going to get shrunk and that's how you are going to get possessed and we are things are going to happen so now the true fact is it is very difficult to get these positive energies in this time everywhere it's so negative that's why many people are facing this negativity and depression and anxiety we we are not able to get that positivity so we are in search of positivity if there is some positivity please get hold of them they are the energy is going to save you from your destruction mode this world has to be saved with some sunlight has to come in some positive energy has to come in so when the absence of positivity absence of sunlight only the negativity and darkness is there so new light have to come in then only the world will be saved from the destruction mode negativity is definitely a destruction mode it is going to destroy us one day so okay friends now you would have understood how black magic and possession and spiritual awakening is happening and in my next video i will explain you how to come out of this black magic and possession because people are stuck in this phase i am seeing many people who are not able to come out so they are actually going into medical sector medical sector is giving us tablets and trying to suppress our mind to not to react they trying to cut off that uh, reaction also but they are not trying to bring in positivity or giving a permanent solution throughout the life i have seen many people like their whole life has been subjected to this kind of danger and this kind of hellish situation so in my next video i will actually explain you how to come out of this dangerous and hellish situation so the worst thing could happen for us is not the death is about the mental illness living dead 
living in a hellish way so this is the worst thing which should not happen to us in my next video i'll definitely let you know how to come from this phase if you do have this experience please do share in my comments so that's how when people are coming out opening up that's how you're going to come out from that situation please do share your experience and also share how did you come out from those uh, hellish situation so that it will help many other people so okay guys hope so all this information were useful for you all if you see any people suffering from this phase please do help them with the information what i've told and also please do share all this useful information definitely it will save many people's life so okay guys thanks for watching so this is shobhna bye from social knowledge